If you are having a hard time landing a job as a data scientist, especially if you are new to the field, in this video, I'll share some practical tips how you can increase the odds of landing your data scientist job, even in this tough job market. My name is Anwar and I've been working in the US tech industry as a data scientist for over 10 years now. And in all these years, I have given and taken hundreds of interviews. And being on both sides of interview table, I can share some practical and tactical tips how you can create an excellent, eye-catching data science resume, how you can find some good jobs, how you can apply to as many jobs in the smallest possible time, and most importantly, how you can efficiently prepare for data science interviews so that when you actually get to the interview table, you perform really well there. So there's a lot we have to cover in this video, so let's jump right in. So first things first, I think the most important component in any job search is your resume. Your resume is the only thing which recruiters and hiring managers see when they have not met you or seen you in person. So it is very important that you have a resume which is crafted in a way that it appeals to both machines, which are called ATS, and also the humans, which are called recruiters or hiring managers. And it is kind of a delicate challenge because if you optimize for machines, then you have to stuff in a lot of keywords into your resume. And if you optimize for human readability, then you have to make it very concise and to the point. So if you are struggling with your job search, the number one thing which I would recommend is have a good look at your resume and make sure it is crafted in the right way. Because if there are problems with your resume, that nothing I explained later in the video would work. So that is the very foundational first step. If you need some guidance on how to create a good resume, I have a short guide and template in the description where I've included the exact resume which I have used in last 10 plus years, which have helped me land interviews in pretty much all top tech companies in the US. So I've included my exact resume as well as a template, which is based on that my resume so that you could change it and tweak it according to you. And that resume format had worked pretty well for me. So I'm pretty sure uh, you'll also be able to benefit from it. So you can use that template or use any other popular resume template, but just please make sure that your resume is both human friendly as well as ATS friendly so that you could maximize your chances of landing at least the interview. Once you have your resume in the right format, then the second step is finding the companies where when you apply, your odds of listening back from them are high. I have created a whole separate video on the topic of how you can find some low competition jobs. But the gist of that is that you figure out what your strengths are and then you come up with some target companies. That brainstorming of figuring out what your strengths are, for example, if you have experience in financial domain, then you can just target financial companies. If you are living in a small area of the US, then you can just find companies which are in proximity of that area. Or if you have love for automobiles, then you can just target the companies which are working in the car industry. So figure out first what your strengths are, use your resume to highlight those strengths and then target those companies. When they see your resume, they see potential candidate, which is different from the rest of the candidates. Again, more tips in the video, which I mentioned before, but figure out what your target companies should be. That is the most important next step. The third step is start applying to those companies. Job hunt, pretty much like any other marketing, sometimes it ultimately boils down to numbers game. The candidate who has applied to 1000 jobs has much more chances of landing a job than the candidate who has just applied to 50. Provided, but it is also very important that you just don't spam and send out your resume to every single company which is hiring for any role. Be targeted in your search, but once you have listed down what your targeted companies or areas should look like, then you should be applying to every single job which is posted in that domain as soon as the job gets posted. And that takes some time and effort. Now to facilitate that, you should be very strategically using some automation. I am totally against the tools out there where you can just pay a subscription fee and upload your resume and then they just keep spamming all the job portals with your resume whenever the job gets posted. But I also think that filling out manually your college name for every single job post is very laborious and should be automated. Again, a topic which I've covered in another video on how you can apply to as many as 30 or even more jobs with in an hour but again the gist of that is there are free tools out there you can just add it as a plugin in your browser and once you have given it all the information like your college your past experience etc and you go to most of the popular job boards it fills in 
all that information from your resume so that you could just quickly scan it. If there are any fields which are not filled, you can copy paste and bring them in. But that small utility helps a lot in quickly filling out most of the job applications, which pretty much ask the same thing again and again and again. So use those free tools to fill out the job applications for your target companies. Now, another thing which I recommend is that you slightly tailor the headline or the summary section of your resume according to the job you're filling in. There are tools like ChatGPT or some paid job application tools might help where you can just show the qualification section of the job post and your resume and should be tell you that how you can come up with one to two liner highlight or summary section so that when the recruiters are seeing it, they can immediately tell that you are very relevant to the job you're applying for. And some job application filling tools does that too but usually you need to have a paid subscription for that when it comes to resume tweaking at the time of job application another thing which i could recommend is that you should have a skills section at the very bottom of your resume and if you're using some of these job application tools then it tells you that it asks for certain kind of skill set in the job post and that is missing in your resume and you should be adding it in the skills section of your resume so that when the ATS tracker scans your resume for particular keywords for example PyTorch or scikit-learn that it is able to find that and gives a signal to the recruiter that you are a good match for that job so just by tweaking the highlight or summary section and the skills in your resume, tailoring it according to the job needs in some automated fashion, you should be good to go in terms of your job application. Now, if you do these three steps right, which is create a good resume, find your targeted companies, and then apply to as many jobs within your targeted companies as soon as they get posted, then hopefully you should start getting some recruiter calls and interview scheduled. So the next challenge then becomes how you can prepare for your interviews so that you have a maximum chance of cracking those interviews. Data science is a hard field just because of the breadth of it. You need to know a lot of programming and SQL and statistics and machine learning. So there's just so much things you have to learn. Again, a topic I've covered in thorough detail in this video will have given the complete roadmap of, on how you can start and go all the way to the finish line when you feel interview ready in the shortest amount of time. So please check out that video and try to follow the roadmap. If you think you're already at that stage that you are ready for interviews, then all good. Otherwise, I think you can get some help from this video. So besides these four stages, which I have given some guidance on, I think a very important component throughout this job search journey is having a positive mindset. Job search is usually considered a hard phase, even for experienced people. And facing rejections one after another is very demoralizing and very disheartening for everyone. We are all human beings and this feeling of getting rejected, it hurts us. So I want you to stay positive as much as you humanly can when you're applying to all these jobs. It is very possible that you would apply for 1000 jobs and you still might not get any interviews. And even if you get the interviews, you're unable to crack it. But ultimately, like many things, job search is a numbers game. So keep applying with a positive mindset. Job market has been pretty deadly in the last two years but now we are seeing some improvement the main reason behind why we are seeing such a tough job market has been high interest rates and now the interest rates are going down so i'm pretty sure that in the next few months you'll see that there will be more job openings and that means that your chances of hearing back from recruiters for all the jobs you're applying will slightly increase as well again if you want some more insights on what my take on the current data job market is i've covered that at length in this video so please feel free to check it out thank you so much for watching